Ingo, thanks very much for, for joining us today. In terms of the logistics side, um, how do you see the current demand in, in Northern Europe? One message is pretty clear. Online or retail um, or sales via online is absolutely booming. We see that in many, many places here in Northern Europe that the demand for the modern logistics space is rising. We see now um, in many places that uh, logistics is an essential fundamental for any uh, supply chain. We see some onshoring activities again that will be not short term but mid term, uh, especially on new settlements. Um, the uh, the manufacturing uh, companies here in Germany will rethink about their supply chain because as an automotive uh, or a manufacturing in car, we cannot avoid. Uh, we cannot afford again um, that supply chain is not that good in these days. So, keep a long story short. Uh, which coming back to your question, there will be a rising demand of logistics space here in Northern Europe for sure. And and you mentioned there um, some of the sort of shorter and medium term um, influences. Um, are there longer term influences that you're particularly seeing from the health crisis? Do you think that it's a sort of an accelerator for, for e-commerce? The COVID-19 uh, disaster, I think, will uh, accelerate. Uh, I think uh, e-commerce will be the new retail. Um, retail is, from, from, all, from, from my perspective, uh, quite under pressure. You can order anything via online. Where we see that in the demand of logistics space, we see three uh, retail, e-commerce retail types of logistics space. We are delivering at the moment to our customer base. That is, that these are the e-fulfillment centers, the first mile logistics centers in the, the size of 100,000 square meter plus. Uh, the, uh, this kind of um, e-fulfillment center are located most of the times nearby the port range of in North Europe from Antwerp to Rotterdam to Bremerhaven, Wilhelmshaven, Hamburg, up to Lübeck, up to Rostock. Then you see the, the second stage of the uh, supply chains. These are sorter centers in the size of uh, 20,000 up to 50,000 square meters, where exactly the online provider knows um, who is, um, where is the demand, who is demanding goods. And then you have the last mile, the same day delivery logistics uh, properties we are delivering at the moment. That means um, um, you are ordering in the morning and you have it within 24 hours. Um, somebody is knocking at your door with the exact product you have uh, seen uh, on online. You have the best price, the best services, and you can use the product within 24, mu- uh, 24 hours. That is perfect. And that is absolutely from my perspective, the future of retail. You mentioned also before about uh, global supply chains. Um, how do you see that reacting? Do you think there'll be more um, kind of um, nearshoring with, um, with, with, I suppose, therefore, more potential for logistics space, particularly within, within continental Europe especially? In Germany, our um, GDP is driven 25% uh, by manufacturing. You have uh, areas, for example, in southwest of Germany, which has an export quote about 75%. means um, products w- which are produced there do not even touch the northern European uh, markets. No? They are going directly abroad. No? So if you have that situation like we have now at the moment, that, that, that borders are closed or something like that, that and supply chain... And it's, everything is about supply chain in these days. No? It's not about manufacturing. It's bringing processes together no? to create a product. In midterm, the decision will be, it's not only our workforce is maybe um, more expensive. It needs to reconsider it, uh, the, the total picture of it. So my personal perspective is that not in everything, but some thing of this offshoring will be coming back on onshoring. That means uh, they will be settled here again in, in the Northern European region. That means uh, it needs again a very tight logistic real estate market with rare sites, bigger plots are very rare. So if you are a land banker like us, like Gaisley here in Germany, where we have millions of square meters to be delivered in, in, in modern warehouses, it could be a, really a great situation for us. And are you seeing um, 
different types of operators coming to the fore now. I mean, you mentioned retail, but obviously one of the successes to, to a degree has been food retail. Um, are you beginning to see a changeover in some of the some of the tenants and the operators who are seeking space? It's not a secret that we have a lot of this big companies ne, in our warehouses deliver the goods directly to the retail stores. Ne? In Germany um, or in the Netherlands, we have at any uh, uh, corner here. Right? You go out of your flat, of, out of your house, within a distance of 200, 250 meters, you have two um, Rebels, you have two Edekas, you have two uh, super uh, excellent organized uh, ret uh, food retailers uh, standing there. So, from my perspective, online food, it will be growing, but not that strong growing like uh, any other uh, uh, e-commerce and online uh, uh, trade. Um, we had during the, the, the coronavirus crisis at no time that our stores were not fully equipped with products and goods. No? There was no um, question about that. No? And um, in future, it will be even better. However, it will be pretty clear that you need to look at, um, at uh, your supply chain. You need to look uh, where you can fix your destination. We see that from our portfolio point of view, that um, we are not discussing rent reduction or rent holidays or something like that. Our customers are coming to us and they would like to prolong the lease. The leases, no? When they have only maybe two years or three years remaining, that's it. That's quite critical for us, for our mission, uh, that we have logistics space in, 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 in place. Let's discuss with, with the landlord no, to prolong the leases, no? going to 10 years, to 12 years, to, to even to 15 years, no? to secure sites. No? Because in these days, everybody has seen logistic is very very important so it's a win-win situation uh, i think for our logistics tenants and for us as a portfolio investor thanks very much for joining me and go always great to talk to you absolutely thank you very much rich